of uh, energy, work and energy. Right? Actually, this work and energy, they are actually equal to one another. If you have uh, done so much work, you must have put in uh, the same amount of energy. On the other hand, if you have a certain amount of energy and you, are, you can only do this amount of work, so the work and the energy, they, are, uh, they can interchange. They are actually equal. Okay, so the first one is work, right? Work is defined as the force times the distance move in the direction of the force. Okay, W equal to FD. Now, if you, you say W equals to FD, uh, it is not complete. It is not complete. Why it is not complete? Because uh, there is no direction shown in this formula. Uh, what, what you should say is like this. Huh? What you should say is like this. Okay, the force times the distance, right? The force, the component of the force in the direction of the move, of the displacement of the movement, right? The distance move in the direction of the force. So uh, we should say how? That you have to add something to the force there. The force, huh? F is the F is the force, force in the direction of displacement. Okay, in the direction of displacement. We look at uh, one example, right? Let's say we have a force F. Right, a force F and it is pushing an object. Now, after pushing this object, it has moved over a distance of delta x. So the box moved from here until here. Okay, the direction of the displacement is shown by the black arrow. So how much work is done, right? So to calculate the work done, we use the force multiplied with the displacement. Now in this case, uh, it looks okay. The formula looks okay. Because the force, the direction of the force and the direction of the displacement, they are pointing in the same direction. So I can use the force multiplied with the displacement. right? So, force multiplying displacement. So, from the textbook, from the textbook, the work done on an object by a constant force F during a linear displacement along the x-axis is work equals to force multiply with the displacement but they put a small x there they put a small x subscript x below the f it, the the f x indicates the force in the direction of x right the force in the direction now when i tell you this the force in the direction of f uh, in the direction of x, it is not clear because there is no counter examples. There's no example that will show you so far. Lah. There's no example to show you what is the meaning of the force in the direction of x, in the direction of the displacement. Because the force and the displacement, they are in the same direction. Now, unless the force is in a different direction, then I can show you uh, the meaning of the true meaning of 
W equals to Fx, right? <coughs> well, before I show you other examples, we look at the unit, the unit for work. Okay. Now, Fx is the component, x component of the force, and delta x is the displacement, is the final displacement minus the initial displacement. So this is delta x is the change in the displacement. So from here to here, so that distance is the change in the displacement. Now the unit for uh, work is joule, or because it is f times x, so it's also known as newton meter or kilogram meter square per second square. Now this this one they seldom seldom appear. The one that they always use is joule or newton meter, the unit for work done. So next we are going to look at what happened if the force is not parallel to the displacement. So we look at the second case. This second case. Earlier on, the force is horizontal. It is parallel to the displacement. Now in the second case here, the force is acting at a certain angle with the horizontal. Right? So we cannot use this force multiply with the displacement to find the work done. Since the, the force here is not in the direction of the displacement, we cannot use the force F multiply with the distance or the displacement here. So what are we going to do? This force we are going to resolve into its components. When you resolve this force into its components, Okay, it will be uh, it will be like this. There's one component which is vertical, which is f sine theta. Right, this component is f sine theta sine theta. F sine theta and the horizontal component is F cos theta. The vertical component F sine theta is not doing work. The horizontal component F cos theta which is parallel to the displacement, uh, this is the component that do work. So if you want to find how much work is done, when a force F is pulling the object in this direction, so it will be F cos theta multiplied with delta X. So in other words, it is F cos theta multiplied with the distance move in the direction of the force. Right? In this case, the force which is parallel to the displacement. So this, this is the one that we should consider. We take this component, multiply with the uh, displacement here. Right? Why this component? Because only this component is parallel to the displacement. The other component is not. So it's not doing work. Any questions so far about the force times the displacement? The force that we take should be the force in the direction of the displacement. Any questions? So uh, no question. No question. No question. Sir. No question. Now we are going to look at another example. Right? We are going to look at another example. The last example is a man is holding a bucket of water. Now, as you know, when you hold the bucket of water, you are applying a force 
vertically upwards to balance the weight of the bucket of water. Okay, so the force you exert is vertically upwards. Now, if the man carries this basket and move horizontally in the direction of X, horizontally in the direction of X. So, how much work is done? How much work is done? In this case, we say that the work equals to the F times the distance. But you must take note that you must take note that the F here is not the same as this F. The F in this case must be the F in the direction of the X. Okay. But is there any F that is in the direction of the X? No, there is no X in the direction, uh, no F in the direction of the in the direction of the X. So we say that W equals to the force which is in the direction of X is zero. Right? And the distance move is D. This distance move is D. So as a result, the work done is zero. Why zero? Because there is no force in this direction. The force is vertically upwards. There is no force acting horizontally. So the horizontal force, which is in the direction of the displacement, is zero. So the work done is also zero. Any questions so far uh, regarding